It's Karen Gray, Superintendent of Lincoln County School District. Today, I thought I would talk a little bit uh, with you about the school district goals. There's a process that the school district goes through in order to develop their goals for that school year. Every August, the superintendent meets in retreat with the school board. The school board is made up of five members elected by the public. And we look at our data in the school about academics, about attendance, about student behavior, and a lot of other issues. And we determine what the goals are of the school district based on that data. Our school district goals don't change that much every year because we're on a pathway of uh, continuous improvement and incremental change. So we don't throw the baby out with the bathwater every year. We continue to develop those goals that we have based on our data. These become the goals of the superintendent and the school board because we work together in harmony. So the goals that we have for the 2021-22 school year, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about those. And if you have questions about what I'm talking about, I sure would encourage you to email me uh, via our website. And it would just be great to talk to you about our goals. First off, we are an academic institution. And so we have academic achievement and student success as our very first goal. And it's a complicated goal because it's not just reading, writing, and arithmetic. It is increasing attendance. It is working on students' ability to regulate themselves in the classroom. It is about increased graduation rates. Um, I'll take a little pause here and talk a little bit about our school improvement plan. Our school improvement plan matches our school district superintendent and board goals. All of our goals are all matched up. Our building goals, our teacher goals, our district goals, our board goals, they all match up. Uh, in one way or the other. And increasing attendance and increasing graduation are the two big goals of our school improvement plan. Think about it. How much is there included in, in attendance? How much is included in getting a student across that finish line and into the next part of their life, which is post-secondary? It's quite a lot. We support the Positive Behavior Interventions and Support Model, or PBIS. And through that, we um, do a check-in, check-out with students. We belong to an organization called the Northwest PBIS team. We do a lot of training. And you know, maybe someday I'll do a video just on PBIS, because it is a very, very comprehensive, wonderful, um, very research-based model of student regulation, student choice through positive intervention. Um, we're also aligning our K-12 mathematics. We signed uh, contracts for our um, adoption last year for secondary, the year before, um, no, I've got that wrong. Uh, last year for elementary, the year before that was secondary. So we are aligned K-12 reading, uh, English language arts, and K-12 mathematics for the first time in this district's uh, history that anyone can remember. So we're aligning our mathematics um, curriculum. We're also continuing to work with Advancement via Individual Determination, or AVID. A lot of you will know about AVID. We are an AVID K-12 school district, and AVID teaches the methodologies around writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, and reading for all kids. Wonderful study skills. We're increasing student engagement, and we have a growing diversity in our community of diverse people. Um, over a quarter of our school districts speak Spanish or a Hispanic language. Uh, we have 26 languages in our district, not just English and Spanish. So we're looking at outreach to the community about diverse practices and bringing people in. Uh, we want to bring 
all people into the school district and engage them. There will be some forums coming out uh, very specifically in the spring, and we will report on the data that we get back from parents about how we're doing with our student investment account. And finally, the board. The board has its own strategic plan. It took 18 months for the board to create their plan, and they are working through it. Their goals are enhanced communications and community engagement, Lincoln County School District as a political convener, Lincoln County School District providing for the health and welfare of our facilities, identifying the need possibly for a 501c3 foundation, and demonstrating high expectations for student achievement by supporting an equitable framework for education. I really commend the board on their wonderful progress. Um, the last thing I want to say in today's video is not on school improvement or district goals except to say that we want to keep our kids in school. We need to keep our kids in school. The Omicron variant has hit Lincoln County, and it has hit us hard. We have many staff home ill every day. Many kids now are being quarantined for the five days. This surge is very uncomfortable, and it is causing some really uncomfortable things to happen in our buildings, in our food service, and in our transportation. What can you do? What can you do to keep our kids in school? Get your vaccines, get your booster shot. They are readily available. If you don't feel well, stay home. Keep your kids home. Please don't take chances. Wear your mask. I'm wearing my mask. I hate my mask, but I'm wearing my mask because my mask is going to keep me safe and keep you safe. Wash your hands, limit your gatherings, and keep a good distance from other people. I know that this is, you're, everyone is tired of hearing about it, but if we don't do something and we continue to go down this path of these kinds of huge absences from school, uh, we're going to have to have other conversations. So I'm just begging you, please do your part in keeping our kids in school. We love you, we care about you, and we care about your children. We want so much to educate them in our warm and inviting schools. So everybody, have a wonderful weekend, and we'll talk to you again soon.